Hi guys, welcome back. So we are now entering June. So it is time to look back about the running stories, athletic stories that made the headlines in May. We have everything from professional athletics covering all distance from track to marathon. We also have a story that's caused a bit of debate and we also have climbing because we have two stories to do with Mount Everest that just shows what us Brits can do. So grab a cup of tea, coffee, slice of cake, sit back and listen to the amazing stories from the world of running that happened in May. So lots of stories going in on in May. We've got some world records. We've got some amazing news from the world of exploring, which I've thrown in. And we'll leave Mount Everest to the end of the video as a little extra because we have a Brit making history and also a Exeter chief supporter from Exeter making world record news on Mount Everest as well. So let's go back to the right at the beginning of the month of May and the bank holiday weekend. And it was the London 10,000 race in the city. Alicia McColgan won the women's race in 30 minutes and 33 seconds. And she missed Paula Radcliffe's national mark by two seconds. But wait to see later on the video we have some more news regarding that record. So at the same event, Mo Farah was beaten to a line by a non-professional runner. 25-year-old Ellis Cross from Warwickshire ran 28 minutes and 40 seconds, beating Mo Farah by four seconds. Cool. Over to the Marathon de Sable. Johnny Mortimer Hendry, a former officer in the Parachute Regiment, has become a world record holder after completing the Marathon de Sable whilst wearing a 10k body armour. He completed the 250 kilometres in 48 hours, 53 minutes, raising over £50,000 for charity. Sticking to the military theme, two Former War Marines named the Mad, Mad Explorers have recently transfer, transversed Baffin Island, which meant they have become the first humans to transverse the five largest islands on Earth by using only human power. This has taken five years and five months to complete their epic challenge. Lewis Nethercott and Anthony Lambert both have completed the epic challenge and becoming and made history in the world of exploring. So they have transversed Borneo, Papua New Guinea, Madagascar, Greenland and Baffin Island which is in Canada all by human power. So quite a long story coming up because it has caused quite a debate so I would really like to hear your views about it in the comments below. So organisers of Cincinnati's Flying Pig Marathon have come under fire after allowing a six-year-old boy to run the full race. The father, Ben, took to social media to say that he completed the marathon alongside his wife and six children, including his youngest, who is six. So obviously it's become under fire because they've allowed a six-year-old to complete a marathon. It took them eight hours and 35 minutes. On the race website, it states that runners must be over 18 years of age to partake. 
The father also wrote that his six-year-old was struggling physically and mentally and wanted to sit down every three minutes. The race director has issued a statement saying that the family had previously run the event as bandit runners, i.e. they weren't registered and they didn't pay an entry fee. So it was their intent to let them run the marathon and offer protection and support such as medical and fluids was on the course. So offering safety and protection for the child. However, the family finished the marathon after the formal closure of the race, which meant if say it was a six hour time limit, they had two hours and 35 minutes of no support. And a six year old to run a marathon is not only physically tiring, it's also mentally tiring. And that's why most marathons have an 18 year age limit so that you're mentally can cope with the distance and the pain that running a marathon causes. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether they were right in letting them run in order to offer them support and fluids, or whether they should have just said, no, your children can't run. So put them in the comments below. John Kelly, 37, has broken the record for completing all of Cumbria's 240 Wayne Wright Peaks. It took him five days, 12 hours and 14 minutes. He beat last year's previous record by 11 hours. So the 320 miles or 550 kilometres with 36,000 metres of climb or 118,000 feet. A 71-year-old, Joe Schoenbrot, set a marathon world record for the 70-plus category at Belgium's Mass Marathon, and he ran 2 hours, 54 minutes and, 90, and 29 seconds. He beat the previous record by only 4 seconds. So yeah, 71-year-old running sub-3. There has been a new t-shirt half marathon world record. An Idaho man, David Rush, ran at the YMCA famous Idaho potato half marathon in two hours, 47 minutes and 55 seconds, whilst wearing 111 t-shirts. There is Guinness World Records have set a three hour time limit for this record, but he, David did pre, beat the previous world record, which was only 90 t-shirts, and that happened last year. So, from a half marathon to a massive, massive distance run, a Belgian runner, Mergin Gertz, ran 630 3.5 kilometers in 73 hours and 38 minutes which is a world record he ran 90 laps of the backyard masters race of champions to achieve the 603 kilometers in 73 hours and amazing at the muller Birmingham Diamond League meet, Keely Hodgkinson won the 800 metres in 158.63 and Laura Muir won the 1500 metres in 402.81 and Hannah Cockcroft took the wheelchair 400 metres race in 57.45. So locally, who's Probably if you're a local Southwest, you know, you know, and probably race with Adam Holland. Well, he set a new world record of running 
sub three half marathons for 10 marathons in 10 days at the break pay 10 in 10. So every marathon was sub three for 10 consecutive days. So at the beginning of the video, we went in Elish McColgan missing Paula's record by two seconds. Well, she later on in May, she broke Paula's 19 year old European and British 10K record after running 30 minutes and 19 seconds. And she was second behind the world champion Helen Obrey from Kenya, who won the race in 30 minutes and 15 seconds. So it often said that the, the longer females run for, then the closer they get to beating men. And quite often in ultras, we have seen women beating men. Well, GB's Gemma Steele won the 40th Nottingham 10K race. First time ever her, a female has run it as won it she ran in 35 minutes and three seconds whilst the first male runner was 27 seconds behind her a little bit of a fun story not to do with running but to do with tractors so a 74 year old from exeter has completed the 874 miles from John O'Groats to Land's End in his 1961 tractor, which reaches a top speed of 30 miles per hour. It took him 11 days, averaging around 80 miles a day. He did this to raise money for Devon Air Ambulance. A former nurse and army veteran who's an amputee, Lexis Alex Chambers, from Exeter is determined to show that disabilities doesn't don't stop you from winning world records. She has committed to complete seven events, two triathlons, three half marathons and two full marathons in seven months in a normal everyday non-sport wheelchair raising money for plasma, for the charity Blasma. So far, she has done the Exmouth Try and the Great West Run in Exeter. She then has the Bridgewater Half Marathon, the London Marathon, the Plymouth Triathlon, the Cardiff Half Marathon and the Goodwood Marathon. So to do it in a non-sport wheelchair is a tough, tough challenge. So to finish the two stories related to climbing Mount Everest. The British climber Kenton Cool, 48, has completed his 16th thump summit of Everest, which is the most number of climbs by any non-Sherpa climber. And the last one is Exeter Chief season holder, Graham Keane, has become the oldest person in Britain to reach the summit of Mount Everest. He is 68. He be previously beat the record, which was held by Sir Reynolds Fines. So all the stories of May, hope you enjoyed this little journey of running news from across the globe for May. And I hope you enjoyed the little lectures of Mount Everest and going from Scotland to Cornwall on a tractor. So you'd love to hear your thoughts about the six-year-old running the Cincinnati Marathon and whether you think the race director did the right thing or not so much the right thing. So, so if you ever hear any stories relating to running or something weird like the tractor or Everest, please drop them in the comments in a YouTube video, or you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Olivia Killing It. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great Jubilee weekend, whatever you're doing, whether you're having a street party or you're having to work, or you are doing a Jubilee themed race. Enjoy it, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. And of course, 
whatever you do, hashtag killing it.